their long roots search a large area for water and ensure they catch as much moisture as possible on the rare occasions that it rains. These roots help stabilize the dunes themselves. Thick skins help prevent water loss to evaporation. But they don't protect them from the oryx's battery of tough, grinding teeth. Another challenge for life out in the desert is the lack of cover for hiding. But there are some stealthy specialists. Lying motionless with her sandy, mottled coat, the sand cat's easy to miss. She looks like a house cat, but is much more reclusive and nocturnal. Seeing one out in the open, especially by day, is extremely rare. She typically spends her days in a cool, underground den. But this morning, she's enjoying the fresh air before it gets too hot. The sand cat is the only feline species adapted solely for a life in sand. Her soft, dense fur protects her from the sun's rays and insulates her during the cold night. Her claws are more attractive and blunter than other cats because she often digs her prey from the sand. The pads on her feet are hairy to act like snowshoes, keeping her from sinking into the sand. Food resources are scarce, but water is non-existent, so the cat must hunt to obtain moisture from her feet. This can be anything from insects to hares. Like all predators, she spends most of her time sleeping, up to 18 hours a day. Even as she rests, she seems to be dreaming of a hunt. It doesn't take much to wake her. Lizards are her primary prey. Thanks to her hairy feet, she barely leaves footprints and can tiptoe in silence. Warmed by the hot sun, the lizard's turbocharged. She prefers to hunt at night and will return to her den to sleep through the hot day. The air temperature reaches a peak of 50 degrees in the early afternoon. Of the sand, Having absorbed the morning sun is much hotter, 65 degrees, hot enough to boil an egg. Even camels struggle. They rarely find enough shade, so sit side by side facing the sun. This way, only their narrow front is exposed directly to the rays, not their broad sides. The little calf learns by copying his mother. To protect their bodies from the scalding heat of the sand, they have thick calluses on their chests, knees and wrists. 